suckers to make the Constitution oppression ready for all Americans. And it's ready now. The FBI's tendency to focus on minority communities and political dissenters is by no means a new development. COINTELPRO was counterintelligence program that the FBI had in place in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. They conducted a program that targeted groups like uh, anti-war protesters, the Women's Liberation Movement, and others. The most egregious was Dr. Martin Luther King, who, who was subject to intensive investigation and, and, and many of these dirty tricks that the church committed that later investigated this program. Uh, found that these dirty tricks were, were designed not to protect the national security, but to disrupt marriages, to uh, prevent people from uh, engaging in First Amendment protected activities, and to suppress speech. In 2008, the FBI infiltrated a series of First Amendment groups in Minneapolis that were organizing during the Republican National Convention. Two years later, in fall 2010, the FBI raided dozens of peace activists in Chicago and Minneapolis dragged these individuals before some grand juries, seized all of their computer records, and they've never been charged with any crimes. All of the groups, the, the, the Women Against Military Madness, for instance, 25 year long established peace group is on a chart and it's on a, a link analysis that the, the Department of Homeland Security prepared in the summer of 2008, connecting everybody guilt by association. And it's, if you look at it, there's nothing there. It's just fabricated out of whole cloth. Step aside and circle around in a, 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 a mournful, prayerful way for five minutes. Catholic workers. Friends, that is Quakers, are people who are devoted to peacemaking, who are nonviolent people in the, in the tradition of Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr. Those people should be protected. Those people should be put on a pedestal uh, rather than be followed around and having their, their phones tapped. There are standards for identifying and categorizing potential bad guys are not nearly precise enough. And we go back to examples like the Thomas Merton Center. Those people are not the enemy. They are citizens of the United States exercising their First Amendment rights. The Bill of Rights really the conversation of our freedom. The Patriot Act makes, makes a travesty of many of those rights. When a government is trying to find out what you're reading, that is fundamentally overwhelming. People say, that uh, you know, they don't mind the government spying because they're not doing anything wrong. But what we learned from those investigations that the Church and Pike Committee conducted back in the 1970s was that there were people who were doing nothing wrong and yet were harmed, who were prevented from getting jobs, uh, all because of this secret surveillance and collected this information that the FBI was misusing.